Hey guys, Tennessee Frank here, just having my morning cup of coffee. And uh, coming to you, we're going to be loading some 45 ACP ammo. So instead of doing one massive video showing you how to load ammo, I'm going to break it down a little bit. And I'll do this one on setting up your powder scale and powder measure. And showing you how to get that powder measure dialed in using the scale. And uh, that's one of the more critical aspects of loading ammunition is getting the powder charge right. Uh, you got to follow the recipe in the book and you got to make sure you dial that powder charge in properly uh, or you could get some dangerous hand loads. And as a Cabela's outfitter, uh, I, I get asked that quite a bit uh, in our hunting department. Since I've been hand loaded for some 35 years, I kind of you know, got a little understanding of it. And people always ask me, well, how hard is it to load ammo? I tell them it's not that hard. As long as you follow a good book, as long as you get your powder charge dialed in, powder charge and overall length on the uh, case when you seat the bullet are two of the more critical aspects. So we're going to go ahead and take care of getting that powder measure set up and show you how that's done. That way you can load some uh, decent ammunition to go out and plink with or, or even uh, if you care to, self-defense. I know a lot of people say not to do that, but hey, as long as you follow a book, I mean, you can prove what you did in court. I'd say it'd be all right, but uh, hey, at your own risk, you know, do everything at your own risk. I'm not saying to do it or not to do it, but for sure you can make your own target loads uh, using this method, and I'll show you how we do this. So stick with me, and, and let's get out to the garage. All right, the equipment we're going to be working with today is going to be the RCBS. Uniflow powder measure. We're going to be using tight group powder by Hodgdon's. Since this is going to be target loads, and that's good powder for targets. And uh, I have an app on my phone that I use called Reloading Assistant that works really well. Or you can get something like the Hornady loading manual to look up your recipe. Um, you, you need to go ahead and look up your recipe. Turn in here to 45 automatic, 200 grain. You can see right here. And then uh, we go down to the powder we're going to use, tight group. They're listing 5.6 as max. I run 5.4. And that seems to work pretty good. So we'll show you how to get this set up. Okay, if you'll notice, right here on your powder measure, there's a little locking ring. This is what locks this plunger in place. You can adjust this out or in and what that does, it adjusts the little volumetric measure that's inside this drum here. But yeah, this is, this is what we're going to be adjusting here. We're going to adjust this in and out. Then we're going to lock it down so it doesn't move. And we're going to use uh, use this in conjunction with our powder scale which we're going to move to right now all right we're going to dump some powder in here that should be enough to work with we're going to go ahead and leave this off for now now we're going to move around to our powder scale all right, here's our powder scale. This is an RCBS M500. First thing we're going to do is set it up and make sure everything is set to zero. You have a little wheel right here you can turn to balance this out. And you have three little notches here, or arrows sticking out. And what you want is you want your white line right there straight with that notch we're going to turn our little wheel see how that moves see now we're too high turn it the other way now we're too low you want to adjust that to you're just right in the middle right there looks good you yeah, right about there that looks good. We're right in the middle now. We are adjusted. 
All right, we're going to take the pan out of our uh, out of our scale, and this is still locked. We're going to go ahead and unlock this right here, unscrew it a little so you can move this. I'm going to dump a charge, dump it back in, dump a second charge, dump it back in. Now this should have normalized our measure. Now I'm going to dump our third charge and I'm going to take this over. We're going to weigh it. Alright, we're going to carefully set our charge of powder on here and we're going to adjust this one notch to five and this is going to come over to point four. That's going to be our load. And as you can see, we are a little bit high here. We're going to need to adjust that down. Okay, I'm going to come back in here. I'm going to turn this in a little bit since we were a little high. Don't need to do it much. First load, dump it back. Second load, dump it back. Third load, let's go weigh it. Okay, let's put our charge of powder here. Uh, one thing I might add, when you're doing this using a scale, you don't want any wind, no fans, nothing like that on. Um, you see now we're a little bit low. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to adjust that just like I did. This time I'm going to turn it out a little bit and we're going to see if we can get this dialed in. Okay, we've been messing with her a little bit back and forth. And I think I got her pretty good right now. If you see right here from where I'm standing, that is centered up pretty good. Now what I like to do once I get her dialed in, I like to confirm it, drop another powder charge load, put her back on, that looks good, and one more time, I like to, I like to do her three times once I get dialed in, yep, cat just bumped the uh, stand, oh well, he don't care, <laughs> yeah, now that looks pretty good, that's dialed in, now we'll go ahead and that locking ring I told you about, lock it down and uh, your, your, your uh, powder measure is set using your powder scale. Alright guys, uh, that's about it. Uh, like I said, uh, triple, triple check your uh, charge once you get her dialed in. Make sure you're on the money and lock her down. Uh, it's one of the more critical aspects of hand loading, so you, you got to get this in right. You got to make sure you got your powder charge just right. Um, so hope hope you found this video a little bit helpful. So like I always say, either we stand up for our rights or we can sit by and watch them go away. You all have a great day. Take care. We'll catch you on the next video. Tennessee Frank out.